Hey there! In today's video we are going to discuss the artifacts produced by Cargo Build, such as ELF and binary files. So, let's begin. Some of you might be asking, what is the difference between ELF file and bin or binary file? And seems like it's a fairly common question and this one from Stack Overflow was asked nearly 11 or 12 years ago, still having quite a substantial number of views. So I believe the best answer is the answer number four, this one with the purple. The most important part of this answer is already highlighted for us. Binary file is how the memory looks like before the CPU starts executing it. ELF file is cut up, compressed version of that, which CPU or MCU cannot run directly. Also, in this answer, we can see a very interesting uh, problem spotted by the author, which relates to naming. So compiling in reality should be called building and building is compiling and linking. And those are two separate stages. I highly encourage you to read this answer as well as more details from Ahmed Gamal, which provides you a link to another Stack Overflow. But I think we should just hop into the quick lab using Rust and Cargo. So let's say we have this very simple project here from one of the videos where all we do is a single print and a busy loop. I will do a cargo build. It took only 0.02 seconds because it was already pre-built. But what I would like to show you is the debug output. So what do we see here is that cargo build produced for us a Rust file. And this Rust file is 887 kilo. It is quite shocking because all this project does is sending a single print line and then does nothing. So why would we have such a huge file, right? The answer why this file is so big, it's because it's not a binary file. It is ELF file. ELF files are executable linkable format. Let's take a look really what we've got inside. So as we see, this is an L32 file, additional details that this is an ARM machine. We see this is AAB and hard float, which matches our target AAB HF. So let's imagine you would like to now load this Rust file, which is ELF file into the memory. I mean, this is not the right file to load. So what we have to do we have to convert the ELF file into the binary file. And to do so, we are doing it with a command arm non abi object copy. And we would like to produce a binary file out of our Rust ELF file. And our output is rust.bin, Rust binary. So it went pretty quick. Let's take a look back into our directory. And what do we see now is that the ELF file, which initially was 887 kilo, produced a 6 kilo Rust binary file. And this 6 kilo binary file is what we are loading into the memory of our microcontroller. Now it makes sense because it would be really, really expensive to make a single print and take nearly one meg of our memory. That would be all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for making me a part of your day. Please don't forget to like this video, leave a comment down in the comment section, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. If you know someone who is interested in embedded or Rust, I would love if you could share this video and this entire playlist with them. Take care and see you next week in the next video. Bye.